What's up, guys? It's Casey. I'm here with my brother, back from the nine to fivers. I have a name. What's your name? Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Chris is also a nine to fiver, and he's here to do another Fight Picks video with me for the UFC 210 that's coming up in Brooklyn. Headlining this event, we have Anthony Johnson, who's going to be challenging the current champ, Daniel Cormier. But uh, we're going to go through the fights and give our picks and reasons why we picked them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Comment below. Comment your picks. Yeah, that's always helpful. Hashtag bum picks. In the first fight, we have Ill Will Brooks versus Charles DeBronx Oliveira. I got to think that... Ill Will is trying to make a name for himself in the division and Charles Oliveira has been on a bit of a decline lately. So I'm going to go with my man Ill Will with the stand-up game against Charles Oliveira. Uh, I also will be picking Charles Oliveira. The Bronx is I didn't You picked Ill Will? Ill Will. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Let me start over. Can we start this over? Cut! I, go. I will also be pilling... <laughs> <laughs> Go. I will also be picking Will Brooks. Uh, Charles Oliveira has been around the top 10 in that division for a long time, but uh, the Bronx is walking into the wrong borough on Saturday night, and I don't think he's going to walk out with a win. Yeah, I agree. So we both have ill will for the win. All right, the next fight on the card is Tiago Pitbull Alves against Patrick the Predator Cote. Uh, obviously... Uh, Canadian fighter has a warm spot in our heart, but uh, I think for this one I'm going to go with Tiago. I'm going to have to pick Tiago. He's just, in my mind, got a little bit better at everything than Cote. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree. I think Patrick Cote is always going to be out for a good tilt. He's, uh, he's weathered. He's been through some battles. And I think in this match, he's going to take Tiago Alves out on the feet. Tiago is one of those guys that will just kind of bite down on his mouth guard and step forward and try and fight his way through it. But I don't think he'll have the right skill set to beat Patrick Cote. So I think uh, Canadian Cote is going to take it. In the next fight. She doesn't have a, like, an, a country? Or I record? think it's her first fight in the UFC. Her first fight in the in life? Maybe maybe pro MMA. I don't even know. I don't, know, I don't know where she came Pearl. from. Is she a mystery? Is she an end boss? Do I get there at the end of the video? Again? Bro. In the next fight. In the next fight. In the next fight. Fuck. In the next fight. In the next fight. In the next fight. I'm building stacks. I'm building stacks. I'm building stacks. <laughs> okay. In the next fight, we have Cynthia Calvillo versus Pearl Gonzalez. For for me, I haven't really heard about either of these. So that's the honest truth. So we went on to Sure Dog and checked out both of their fighter profiles and the fights that they've had. This is Pearl's first fight in the UFC, and it's only Cynthia's second fight in the UFC. Cynthia's first fight in the UFC was against Amanda Bobby Cooper. So shout out to Bobby Cooper. Bobby Cooper! Um, do that. No, edit it. It's gone now. Um, so Cynthia Calvillo has only ever had one other UFC fight, and has a, a record that's 4-0, whereas... Uh, what the fuck is her name? Pearl, Pearl. Gonzalez is 6-1 and one as a pro MMA fighter. And is on a five fight, six fight win streak. I'm going to put my money on the one that's fought already in the UFC. Because I'm hoping that she's seen the lights, she's seen the fans, and she knows what it's like. And we'll go forward from there. It's a bit of a coin toss for me. Hashtag bump picks. Uh, I have no idea about either one of these fighters. And what I normally do in this situation is pick someone based on their nickname. We have no nicknames to go with. So I'm going first name, Pearl. I like it. Pearl Gonzalez for the win. Pearl Gonzalez. Okay, in the next fight, we have ex middleweight champion Chris Wyman versus the soon to be new middleweight champion Gegard Mousasi. I, I'm gonna pick Gegard Mousasi, who's gonna take out Chris Wyman on the feet. I think he's gonna knock him out standing up. I think Chris Wyman has still got something to try and prove, and he's not gonna fight this fight smart enough where he just wrestles Gegard and takes the win through strategy. I think he's gonna. You know, just kind of get at Gegard and get knocked out on the feet. Uh, Gegard, a lot of experience. I think he's going to come with the win. 
Uh, I agree that if Weidman fought maybe a bit more to his strengths, he'd be more successful, but he seems to always want to play into the other guy's game, so I think uh, Musashi is going to win uh, this one. All right, the final fight of the night is for the light heavyweight championship, and we have Anthony Rumble Johnson facing off against Daniel, what's his nickname? DC, I forgot DC's nickname. Daniel DC Cormier, very original nickname. Um, the last time I picked against Rumble, I think he annihilated the person in about 15 seconds. Glover, Texera. Yeah, I think Glover got knocked out instantly. Uh, but I think that Cormier is going to be able to work the ground game in this. Eh, I'm really not sure. It's a toss-up for me. I'm going to go with my boy Daniel. Just because he's a tough dude. And I'm going to pick Cormier. Yeah, so... There, everybody's got a puncher's chance. And Anthony Johnson has probably the best puncher's chance. And that if he lands a clean shot on DC... And I mean really solid, clean shot. He has the ability to put DC to sleep. And that's what he's been doing to, to Glover, to Jimmy Manoa, and... Who is the other one he just knocked out? They might still be asleep. They might still be asleep. So, I think if DC works his game plan and is successful, there's only one way for Anthony Johnson to win that fight. He's not going to out-wrestle DC, and he's not likely going to submit DC. It's going to be DC ground and pounding him, tiring him out, and breaking his heart like he did in the last fight. If Anthony Johnson can keep it on his feet, knock him out, obviously we're going to have a new champ. I got to go with the odds on this one, though. And I'm going to have to pick Daniel Cormier, even though my heart wants to pick the knockout artist of Anthony Johnson. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your picks in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Check back in for the next video.